your initial reaction when you heard the news, and where do you think about where we're going here forward? Yeah, I guess uh, probably a little surprised. Uh, in the morning there, we were on the road, so um, probably wasn't expecting it there. Um, but um, yeah, we we move forward. You never want to see a guy like Chuck lose his job. He's a, a really, really great man. Um, a guy that uh, made it very easy to talk to him on a day-to-day basis and uh, kind of know where you're at. And um, I really respected him for that, I think. Uh, in previous years, um, was always scared and uh, of management and things like that, and, and uh, he kept a pretty open door. And um, so I'll always, uh, I don't know, always say thank you for that. And um, he's a really, really good guy. So uh, you never want to see that, and uh, that falls on us too, uh, playing better and, and everything like that. So um, yeah. As someone who has committed to this organization for a long time, is it, although it's bad news, it's exciting in a way to know that they're committed to making a change and trying to succeed? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, bringing in Danny, I think uh, I've known Danny for a long time. He was there uh, when I started in 2012. He was playing for the Flyers and um, know him through that. So uh, really smart hockey mind and uh, a guy that helps out when pretty much wherever he can in the organization and, and in years previous has uh, skated with us, little things like that, uh, little things that he's done with TK and, and um, it goes a long way. Um, so excited to, to have him, um, probably have a conversation with him here in the, in the near future, but uh, yeah, it's exciting uh, to have him uh, come in and um, yeah, it just hasn't been good enough for the last couple of years. So um, yeah. As a leader in the locker room, when the organization undergoes a big change like this, how do you feel like you need to kind of talk to the players and just have a conversation about what you need to do? Yeah, um, it's tough, right? We we have so many young guys right now, so um, it's probably a pretty big whirlwind for them to, to go through this and kind of um, see what's going on. I've been through a couple coaching changes and GM changes here, so... Um, I've been through it before, but probably a whirlwind for those guys. And um, yeah, just try and keep the room light. There's, uh, I've said it before, there's nothing uh, we can do about it. We have to go out and play hard and, and play for each other. So um, that's all we can really do and, and all we can control. Uh, we don't control what's going on um, anywhere else except for the ice in the room and um, how we uh, represent ourselves and, and present ourselves. So. Um, that's all we have to do uh, going forward, and, and I think that's what is, what's expected of us uh, down here, down the stretch. Knowing Danny as a player, what has it been like watching his, uh, I guess, learning process to get to this point? Yeah, he went uh, down to Maine, and he was there for a while. I think he was doing um, pretty much everything there, so learning the ropes and um, has been around us for quite some time and, and uh, been around. so. Even just little things. I mean, uh, going on, I went on the ice with him a couple summers ago and just different little shooting techniques and, and stuff that he picks up on that, um, I mean, he was a, an amazing player and, and uh, has learned uh, a great deal in the last couple of years. So it's exciting for him and, and congrats to him. So um, we'll see what happens there. Um, I would- Chuck, uh, John Tortorella has used the word process to describe what he anticipates the next couple of years being as, he, as the team tries to get back into contention. Dave Scott also used that word in, in his uh, statement that was released after Fletcher's firing. I guess in the locker room, I guess, how do you kind of navigate maybe an uneasy feeling of more change could be coming and it could potentially impact the roster down the line as well? Yeah, and... Uh... Yeah, I guess the process and, and rebuilding or, or whatever you want to call it. And um, we know we're not where we need to be as an organization and um, playing the way we should as players. So uh, ultimately it falls on, on the guys going out and doing the job every night on the ice and, and uh, that's us. So uh, we, we do our job for the last 17 games here and, and that's all we can control and um, let the chips fall where they may from, uh, from everyone else. Thanks, guys.